Would you like to hear a made-up statistic? Every year, over 40,000 graduate students waste over $2 billion due to resampling errors, and yet our so-called political leaders choose to do nothing about it. In this video, I'll show you what resampling is, how to do it, and how to avoid the mistakes everybody else makes so that you can feel better about yourself. So what is resampling? Resampling is the changing of the resolution and the dimensions of your image. Consider your typical MRI scan. This image is made up of voxels, which are like the pixels that make up your computer screen, but in 3D. Let's use AFNI to demonstrate how resampling works, using one weird trick to enlarge our voxel size to 10 by 10 by 10 millimeters. Type 3D resample DXYZ 101010, prefix FunkRS, input Funk.nii, replacing Funk with the name of your functional image. If I open this up in AFNI and switch between the two images, we can see the resampled image is now at a much lower resolution, although it retains the general contours of the original data. So how exactly do we resample the data? The default in most programs is nearest neighbor. If the original data is on this grid, with the voxel intensities at the center of each square, my resampled image is going to be on a different grid. Now we have to ask the question, what should the intensity value be at the center of the new square? Nearest neighbor makes this easy. Pick the intensity value of the nearest neighboring voxel from the original data set. Although this is quick and easy, it also makes the image look blocky, with abrupt transitions between voxels. You can change this by using linear resampling with the option R-Mode Lin. This calculates a weighted average of neighboring voxels instead of using just one voxel's intensity. As a result, the transitions are smoother. Now that's all good to know, but when do we need to use resampling? The answer is, anytime we want to use, in combination, two datasets with different sized voxels. Consider your typical anatomical scan, with 1mm voxels. Now consider your typical functional scan, with 3mm voxels. If we want to do a common preprocessing step, like co-registration, first we need to make sure that the voxel dimensions are the same. This is why any command that uses resampling allows you to specify which data set to keep the same and which data set to resample, often called the reference image and the source image respectively. Since we usually don't want to change our functional scan if we can help it, we typically use the anatomical scan as the source image and the functional scan as the reference. A similar process happens between the anatomical image and the MNI template during normalization. Knowing all this, how can we avoid common resampling mistakes and feel superior to those who keep making them? One common error I see graduate students make all the time is to create a mask using something like fossilize or neurosynth, and then try to apply it to their own data. If the dimensions don't match, you'll see something like this. If that happens, your first instinct should be to check the dimensions of the datasets. If they don't match up, you need to resample the data. We will now see how to do that in the three major software packages, using a mask I downloaded from Neurosynth. After each step, we'll check the dimensions using 3D info, although you can also do this with FSL Info or SPM Vol. First, AFNI. In 3D resample, your reference image is specified by the master option, and your source image with the input option. It also requires a prefix or a label for the output dataset. Next, FSL. You can resample an image using FLIRT, Type flirt in my mask ref stats out stats fsl rs.nii, where ref indicates the reference image 
and in specifies the source image. Lastly, in SPM, you are able to resample images using the co-register reslice command. The image defining space is your reference image, and images to reslice is your source image. The file name prefix will be prepended to the resampled image. Press the green go button to resample. So there you have it. If you want to use one data set with another, you need to make sure the voxel dimensions match. If they don't, you need to resample. And now that you know what that is and how to do it, you can feel superior to everybody who doesn't. Or you could help them out. It's, it's up to you. <laughs>